and welcome to a new question in the series algorithms made simple I will talk up in this video I will talk about lead code number 91 which is decode ways this is also a dynamic programming question and here the question let's read the question so it's given a message containing letters from A to Z A to Z capital is being encoded to numbers using following mapping so we have a message that has letters A to Z and we are converting this decoding this into number is being encoded using the following mapping so it is encoded using mapping A to is 1 B mapped to 2 and Z is mapped to 26 so now we see that 2 can also represent B and 2 followed by 6 can represent Z so there is at least some ambiguity in the way the decoding will be performed so it is the encoding so encoding means converting the characters to numbers and so here the decode means we have to do the reverse so we will be given numbers and we will have to find the corresponding letters but the question is different so we are given an input string is a non empty string that has the digits so we are given the encoded version with all the digits and we have to determine the total number of ways we can decode it so we have we don't have to find the decoding but we have to compute the total number of ways we can decode this so uh, for example let's say we have an input 1 2 and we can decode it so decoding we can decode one separately and two separately this is one way of decoding and second way of decoding is we decode 12 as one number because we see that numbers 1 to 26 can represent one letter so now the output is 2 because there are two ways to decode this okay and here the first decoding where we have a and 1 and 2 is separate we will get a b a for 1 and b for 2 and when we decode 12 as one number together we have l so there are two possible decoding output is 2 the another input example let's consider 2 to 6 so here let's see how many times how we can decode it in how many different ways we can decode it so one way is 2 separate 2 separate 6 separate so taking 2 2 and 6 so all three of them separate say so one way of decoding another way of decoding could be taking 2 2 together so 22 and 6 second way of decoding third way of decoding is taking 2 the separate and then 26 together this 3 because z represents 26 so the highest number which we can decode together is 26 and one is obviously the lowest so now the output is 3 because it's the number of ways we can decode it okay now let's consider another example which is 276 how many ways we can decode it so we can decode 2 separately 7 separately 6 separately this is one way of decoding let's try the other so can we decode 2 7 separately together no because 26 is the highest number which we have so 2 7 cannot be decoded separately 7 6 cannot be so we have just one way of being able to decode so the answer here is 1 so see we see the the question is very tricky okay so first of all we have also to handle the edge cases so edge cases means if the s is empty uh, which means not s for this python we return 0 so if a string is empty we have to return 0 we have no ways of decoding it and if the first element in s is 0 it means if by any chance there is 0 in the string we have to return 0 so we can decode it because we have just 1 to 26 in the encodings and uh, we cannot we don't know how to decode 0 so we will output 0 so for all the other numbers from 1 to 9 we will be able to decode it and we will be able to see it okay so what we do there are many ways to do it so the way I chose to do is using some variables so see I see uh, we see from these three other examples that there are two ways to decode one is by considering each number separately second by taking the pairs of the number if the pair is possible 
so there are two ways that's why i make two count one and count two variables and they will count the number of ways the decoding can be done taking together or taking separate and the count is the total number of ways we can decode the given input numbers so this is one way second if we have a number which is of two digit means we are considering pair we they should lie between 10 and 26 to be able to de be decoded because 10 is the lowest number which has two digits and 26 is the highest number which has two digits because we see our encoding scheme is from e to z 1 to 26 right so we will leverage this fact in decoding so let's consider that we are trying to decode 226 number the first input so here we can consider the first pair 222 and we check if 22 lies between 10 and 26 so yes it is true so we can do one for the count two and then we check the another six six was separate for sure and the other way of doing pairing is we consider 26 as one and two separate so does 26 like between 10 and 26 that is true it lies so there are two so there are two ways to consider the counting in pair and one ways to consider counting in se separate all the numbers and so some of this count one count two becomes three which is our total count okay so this was uh, the basic and now in the second case when we are considering pair if we when we consider 27 27 does not lie between 10 and 26 so the condition is false we don't do anything and in other case we see when we consider 76 76 again doesn't lie in the range 10 26 so conditions are then satisfied so pair are not possible in this case we have only one way of decoding which is taking the number separate so there is always one way by which we can decode the string which is taking the number separately which is which will always be true and forming the pairs only those pairs will be possible which lies between 10 and 26 so we just have to remember two facts and the basis of this we will make the decision okay so a little more into the algorithm is this is a dp direct program equation so basically we will use the knowledge from the previous cases into the current case and that is how we solve most of the dp equations so what we do count as i said earlier the count is the sum of count one and count two when when we can write them as a pair as a separate so here count one means both can be written together so if we can write pairs of number together that is stored in count one variable and the count two is the variable that counts number of ways we can count them separately which is always one this we know so after the the after handling the first two numbers let's say so for example if we are looking at the input 226 we first look at the two numbers 2 and 2 so one way of decoding is to take 2 separately 2 separately so count 2 becomes 1 okay there is one way of decoding that way count 2 refers to taking both of the pairs together 22 and this is possible so count 1 here is also 1 and in this case where we can decode we can find the pairs of numbers which are valid pairs we we get count is equals to count 1 plus count 2 okay in other cases where we cannot find valid pair for example 276 the count is same as the count 2 what is count 2 as i said count 2 refers to taking the pair of numbers is separate so count two means we are counting the pair of number is two numbers separate numbers so obviously here this thing is true so all the number all two seven and seven six they cannot be counted together rather two separately seven separately and seven separately six separately right so this count two is one here and that is why count becomes count two here so written is two is two numbers we cannot write them as a pair so basically these are update equations okay so after we are done 
up until the second number let's say we have more numbers following 276 let's say we have one more number after 276 or after 226 let's say we have 4 2264 or 2764 something like that so how we make the next update so next update we make so the count 2 represents the number of ways we can count the numbers taking them separate now in the next for the next when we have new number added we can treat all the past number together so in that way the count one which was trying to treat numbers as a pair now is updated to the previous value of count one so indivisible and then now the count two count two which is the adding uh, considering the numbers separate is now updated to the total count and this was an uh, example so we now so taking these uh, update rules in mind we now move to the solution the python solution so here we have decode ways and class solution where we have num decoding which is number of decoding ways uh, and we have s as the input string and this has all numbers so we see if not as if f is empty or as has the first element zero we return zero because we cannot decode a zero and is the length of a string and now we initialize count one count two is equals to one and we iterate through the string so from range i is equals to one to n so we don't go to zero first element because we only go from one to n minus one we always use the previous element for decision making so we start from the second index which is one so if the previous one like as i if the current value is zero if for any time we found that current value is zero we check the i minus one the previous value so if as i minus one previous value not in one two we return zero so if we found a zero and then we look before zero and there is one or two it means there is a valid pair and if there is no one or two let's say there is three before zero we return zero it means we cannot interpret this 3 followed by 0 so we return 0 immediately we have 0 ways to decode the string let's say we have 0 where which is followed by 1 which is preceded by 1 or 0 so we have 1 or 2 and then next one is 0 so as i is 0 then the previous one is 1 or 2 it means this condition if as i minus 1 not in 1 2 doesn't satisfy so now the else will run okay so in that case if we have 10 or 20 in the number which both of them are lying between 10 and 26 so both are valid numbers so we do something what we do we make the count is equals to count one it means now the total count the total ways in which we can count uh, decode 1 0 or 2 0 10 or 20 is just taking both of them together taking bo both the digits as a pair so we know we are storing uh, the number of pairs uh, counting in pairs into count one variable so now the total count count becomes count one because both are counted as one and so that that finishes this condition if if the current value is zero and if current value is non-zero so if it is from one to nine any number then we check we check so here as i minus one to i plus one so in python it means ith value and i minus one value so it represents the pre present character present number and the number before the current numbers previous number so we take two numbers so if we have anything other than zero we look at the um, last number and let's say my current number is one and my previous number is two so we check this condition if this number both of them lying between 10 and 26 in this case it lies so if it lies then it means this is a valid number so we can count them as a group as a pair and we can also count them separately because all numbers can be counted separately so count is here sum of count one and count two so count one is accounting for the number uh, counting the both digits current and previous one is together and count two is the number of ways we are counting them separate so let's say my current number is 1 but my previous number was 3 so it becomes 31 so it doesn't lie in this condition so we 
this condition doesn't satisfy we come to another else so here the else what happens is the count is same is taking them separate so count two is storing the number of ways we are counting them as separate so three is counted separately one is counted separately so the count becomes count two there is no addition now after this iteration is done means we are going to consider the next number next number can be anything so here what we do the when we consider the next number all the previous numbers or even the current number which we just discussed becomes as a group so our count one becomes count two so count two is stored in count one now count one is uh, updated to count two and the count two which is uh, a number of ways for counting them separate is updated to the total web of count from the current and previous months and we return count two here why because after all the iterations are finished we are at the end of string the count two is literally storing the count from the lab because we are updating count two to the the complete count and that is why it's, it's, it has the last count two value it was little complicated to understand this decode ways but if you look at the reasoning that why we have two variables count one and count two and how they are interacting with each other to make the complete count it becomes uh, simpler and straightforward i highly recommend to go through this example one two which is a very simple example to get you started and then two complicated examples but very useful information two two six which has a valid pairs and two seven six which has an invalid pairs and running these three examples through this code and obviously the first two lines are edge cases and maybe not so much to understand here but the later also the initialization of count one and count two to one but here we have uh, this is the heart of the code and if you run through this code with those examples 226 or 276 they will help you in get understanding the dynamics of the problem and uh, as I promised in the beginning of a uh, video that I have the third part of the video where I show you the lead code IDE so this is the lead code problem description this is the same as what I told you you have uh, string of numbers and you have to decode it so you have to tell how many ways you can decode it and these examples are the same that I and then 276 is the example I formed because that is also a very good example to understand when the loop will break or not and this code is little longer at least it looked longer and I have written very helpful comments so hopefully it will help you and in case do you would you uh, would, uh, in case you would like to have the PDF of this uh, solution uh, please uh, comment uh, in below this video and uh, that will encourage me to find a way to share the PDF of this solution and in case you have an interesting problem related to this problem or maybe some other topic which you want me to cover please leave the details of that problem below uh, also the the link to the lead code question 91 decode ways is given in the description of this video so that you can just click and do to that go to that question to practice and i highly recommend to do the numerical problem first to understand the algorithm before writing the code and after writing the code to running the code through the chosen examples so that any possible error you could know without running to IDE because we don't get IDs in interviews or discussions okay so this is one way so here I have written two lines for the edge case but we can always combine them I like combining um, the edge cases thing which are like similar which have a similar uh, goal and this is the code which is very easily fitted into one screen and I encourage uh, you guys to go through it and and try to understand and follow up with me in case of any further questions thank you for watching this video and take care until we meet again